Good day students, welcome to mathgotserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over how to write vectors in multiple forms. The instructions for the problem we're going to be solving today are as follows. Using the given information Using the given information of a vector find the following. So you're expected to find the component form of the vector, the linear combination form, You have to find the um, magnitude and direction of the vector. And then using the magnitude and direction, you have to find the trigonometric form. Of the vector. Okay? And then lastly, you have to graph the vector and label. So for problem one, let's say you're given vector AB where the initial point A has coordinates negative 7 and 1 and the terminal point B has coordinates negative 4 comma 7. So how do we know that this is the initial and that's the terminal? Well, if you take a look at this vector notation right here, the arrow tells you that you're starting from A and heading in the direction of B. Okay, so that's how you know your initial and terminal points. So let's start with the A part. For the A part, we have to find the component form of the vector. Let's start by taking a look at what the formula is for um, writing down the component form of a vector. Okay, so the formula is as follows. Let's say we have some vector AB. Then, uh, and you're given two points, the initial and the terminal point. Then a component form of the vector will be x2 minus x1 comma y2 minus y1. Okay? If you look at the indices, the twos represent the final point and the ones represent the initial point. Okay? So let's go ahead and apply this formula to this situation that we have right here. We have x1, y1, these are the ones, and then x2, y2. Okay, so let's write it out. x1 is equal to negative 7. y1 is 1. x2 is negative 4. The x coordinate of the second point, And y2 is 7. Now with that in mind, let's figure out what vector AB in component form is. So what we're going to do is just substitute these values. We're going to have x2 negative 4 minus x1 negative 7 that's for the x coordinate of the vector and then for the y coordinate y2 is 7 minus y1 which is 1 okay go ahead and calculate it we'll have negative 4 slash and dash this becomes a plus negative 4 plus 7 7 minus 1 is 6 negative 4 plus 7 is positive 3 uh, comma 6. So AB, vector AB in component form is 3 comma 6. Okay? So there goes our first answer. Now for the second one, we are to find the linear combination form. Okay? So for part B, we're looking for the linear combination form.
All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the formula. So the formula for writing down a vector, a linear combination given um, the initial point x1, y1 and the terminal point x2, y2 uh, is given by um, x2 minus x1. Think about it as a run. And yet you add an i there a bold i um, plus y2 minus y1 and then you add a bold j there okay so you have a j and an i so the i component basically has to do with the horizontal component of the vector and then the j component has to do with the uh, vertical components Alright, so let's apply that to this situation. Vector AB in the linear combination form is x2 minus x1. We, are we have already computed it to be 3. So it's going to be 3i plus y2 minus y1 is, has already been determined to be 6 in the previous problem, 6j. Okay, so 3i plus 6j is uh, vector AB in linear combination form. All right, let's take a look at the C part. We need to find the magnitude and direction. So for the C part, let's start with the magnitude. So the magnitude is basically referring to the size of the vector. How long is the vector? Okay. So the formula is basically the Pythagorean theorem. Um, so AB represents the hypotenuse. The square root of the hypotenuse is the magnitude of the vector in this case. And then that equals to the square root of A square and B square. Okay, so A, assuming it's along the x-axis, will be x2 minus x1 square plus B square, which is y2 minus y1 assuming it's along the y-axis okay so this will help you calculate the magnitude of the vector alright so let's go ahead and apply the formula magnitude of vector AB is um, the square root of x2 minus x1 we already know it's 3 so that's square plus y2 minus y1 we already know that's 6 square Okay, let's go ahead and simplify that. We have the square root of 3 squared is 9 plus 6 squared, which is 36. Um, 9 plus 36 is 45, so we have the square root of 45. And then we can reduce 45 into um, 3 rad 5. So that's the magnitude of vector A. All right, now what we're going to go ahead and find next is the direction, okay? The angle of separation from the vector to the um, nearest x-axis, the nearest horizontal axis, that will help us determine the direction. Okay, so the formula for the direction We're going to look at the direction as, we're going to call it theta, okay? So the formula is theta equals the arctan, the inverse tan of the um, of y2 minus y1, the rise over x2 minus x1, the run, okay? So let's go ahead and apply this formula to this problem. Theta is equal to the inverse tangent or the arctan of y2 minus y1 is the j component, which is 6. We already calculated that. And x2 minus x1 is 3. Now let's go ahead and input this expression into the calculator so we know what the direction of the vector is. Okay, so um, I'm going to be expressing the angle in degree form, okay? So make sure your calculator is set to the degree mode so that we will end up with the same answers. 
Okay, so let's enter it. That arctan of 6 divided by 3 is 63.4349. Okay, so 63.4349 degrees. All right, so that's your direction um, for the um, vector. Let's go ahead and uh, box that. Okay, okay, so with these two pieces of information, we are in the position to answer the um, next question, which is the to determine the um, the trigonometric form. Okay, the trigonometric form of the vector. So for part D, we're looking for the trigonometric form alright so let's go ahead and write down the formula for that there are two um, forms the factored form and the expanded form for the trigonometric form of a vector so uh, we're gonna consider both so the first one is vector AB can be written as the magnitude of vector AB times cosine theta plus, I mean, comma, sine theta. Okay, so this is the factored form. Or the, in the expanded form, you have um, the magnitude of AB times cosine theta for the x coordinate. Time, uh, comma the magnitude of a b sine theta for the y coordinate okay um, you just distribute this magnitude to the both components of the vector to get the second form all right so let's go ahead and uh, write down the vector in trigonometric form so uh, vector a b is going to be the magnitude of AB is 3 root 5, so we have 3 root 5 times parenthesis cosine 63.4349 comma sine 63.4349 okay or if we can also write it as um, 3 root 5 cosine 63.4349 comma sine 63.434 no wait I didn't put the the um, magnitude there so let me put it in so it's, it is um, 3 root 5 sine 63.4 three four nine okay now um, so there goes our two answers so the question is what do you think we will get if we enter this into the calculator we're gonna end up with the same answer that we had in part a right uh, three comma six so let me just show that to you real quick so we're gonna do um, let's see what we can do here so um, bracket 3 root 5 3 root 5 times cosine of this angular value that we got before the arctan of um, 6 over 3 so that's for the cosine comma for the sine we're gonna use 3 root 5 again 3 root 5 uh, sine this time sine of the result we got from taking the arctan of 6 over 3 close that and then close the vector press enter 3 6 bam so it was exactly what we had before okay so this is just the way of writing the same thing in trigonometric form Okay, so the last part of the whole problem is to graph and label. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So we're looking at part E. So for part E, we are to graph 
the vector and label. Okay. All right. So um, the initial point is on. Well, let me rewrite the coordinates again. So a is negative seven one, and uh, b is negative four comma seven. So it looks like we're we're just stationed in the second quadrant for this particular problem. All right, so let's graph the initial point first. Point A is negative seven, negative one, um, one, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one. So that's A. And then B is negative four, one, two, three, four, and seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right there. Okay, so our vector is just going to go in this direction from the initial to the terminal point right there. Okay, so make a little bit oop, make a little bit bigger the arrowhead just to illustrate the vector. Okay, so that's we have A um, and then we have B right there and this right here is our vector AB. Okay. All right. So let's indicate the direction and um, the magnitude. So the angular separation from this um, vector to the nearest horizontal axis is right here. That's the direction. Direction theta, which we got to be what was the direction again? Sixty-three point four three four nine. Yes, 63.4349 degrees. So that's the direction from the horizontal. And the length of this vector from here to here, that represents the magnitude. Okay, so that's the magnitude of the vector. And the magnitude we computed to be 3 root 5. Okay, so there you have it. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your study of vectors, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is uh, very valuable to us. If you have any questions about the contents of this presentation or vectors in general, just place your questions in the comment section below and uh, we'll be more than glad to respond. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other great math tutorials such as this. More clips can be found on mathgotserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.